And John, you bring a deep and personal and professional insight into hurricane risks for the Northeast. Decades, of course, of forecasting experience. And you're here to explain why this region remains one of the most vulnerable and overdue for a significant tropical impact. So, John, you grew up in Connecticut. Can you tell us uh, what some of those impacts from the 1938 Long Island Express and Hurricane Bob in 1991 meant to you and how those events shaped your perspective on hurricane risks in the Northeast? Well, good morning. Let's start with the 1938 hurricane. That was the hurricane really of record here across uh, the coastal part of uh, New England. I uh, had tragic, devastating impacts here across uh, portions of Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts as well. This storm made landfall as a Category 3 hurricane uh, in Bellport, New York on Long Island and then rapidly raced to the north and east. It was moving at 50 to 55 miles per hour, may, uh, moved up, made another landfall between Bridgeport and New Haven, Connecticut as a category three storm and brought destructive winds across uh, much of Connecticut, Rhode Island and Massachusetts over a wide area, wind gusts to 100 miles per hour or more for many hours on end and resulted in lots of property destruction. Now I heard a lot about this storm growing up because my grandfather, Sebastian Cerrito, he, was, he grew up in New London, Connecticut and he survived that hurricane. He was in that hurricane. Here's a picture of my grandparents uh, many years ago and Pop there in the middle. He uh, told us many times about um, how that 1938 hurricane was. There was very little warning. They knew it was going to be a stormy day, but people were racing back to their homes because uh, schools and work uh, let out in the middle of the day and there were, I remember Pop, Pop would talk about that storm with the trees falling all around him and people were so thankful to have survived that storm. Of course, it was such a tragic loss of life associated with it. So it really was the storm of record that people remembered for generations. And of course, there have been other impacts in New England as well. But that 38 storm not only brought that destructive wind, but it resulted in significant catastrophic flooding inland across parts of Connecticut up into western Massachusetts and even northern New England. So it was a storm to be remembered for a long time. This kind of storm is going to happen again in New England. It's just a question of when, and that's why people have to be prepared. You think back to, to 1938 and all the damage and destruction, but uh, you and the team were able to come up with a number about what kind of damage that would be today. We looked at it and if that same storm were to happen today, that storm would result in four, could result in $440 billion of total damage and economic loss. And uh, to put that into perspective, remember the, the total damage and economic loss from Hurricane Katrina, uh, inflation adjusted around $325 billion. So you can see this would be a very significant impact in the Northeast. And accurate data shows the Northeast typically sees a hurricane every 15 to 20 years. It's been over 30 since Bob. Why do you and the team believe that this region is so overdue? Well, we're just concerned by looking at those numbers and those stats. When you take a look at this uh, graphic here, look at the storms that were in the, in the 50s and 60s. And of course, uh, Hurricane Gloria in 1985 coming up through Connecticut and Bob in 1991. That's the most recent uh, significant hurricane impact in New England. So it's overdue. And when you get the factors to come together in the right way, that can result in very seri serious impacts in New England. You talked about uh, factors. What does it take to steer a hurricane into the Northeast? Well, you've got to have, it, it, the, it's, it's a, a perfect setup that's required, and you have to have a strong Bermuda High in place that uh, directs storms further west toward the United States, a dip in the jet stream in the northeastern part of the United States that draws a storm up the coast, and perhaps this is extremely important too, you have to have an area of high pressure up across eastern Canada that blocks the exit route, a blocking area of high pressure. Then the storm has nowhere to go but to make its way into the northeastern part of the United States. This is the recipe when these factors come together for hurricane hits in the northeastern part of the United States and these destructive storms from years past are why people treat hurricanes so significantly in, New in the northeast and it's important to prepare for them so constantly be monitoring the AccuWeather forecast all throughout the hurricane season so you can be best prepared and stay safer and know when to prepare across New England. Unfortunately, we're overdue for a significant impact there and another storm like the 38 hurricane can happen in the future. We need people to be aware of that and be ready.